Yay, it's time to visit Tower Strong. Sup. You are still here? Yeah, we thought we'd hang out, catch some rays. This isn't a game. Yes, it is. I am seen. We monks are sworn to discover and protect the secrets of the precursors. These leaper mounts allow us to travel where you cannot. Man, those babies sure stuffed their faces. We saw one gulp a load of kangarats not too long ago. Stupid rats. They just sat. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. You will never last out here. That dark eco crystal from the satellite. I want it before it falls into the wrong hands. I'll wager a light crystal against it if you race my monks on their leapers. Sien Komtava. Barush, Barush. Just show us where the starting line is. On your monk? Get set? Ride! Move aside, don't I didn't realize these guys dropped ammo. Where's this? Oh dear. Don't trust your eyes, trust the map. Oh dear. This is going well, isn't it? So a light crystal. We'll find more about light, eco and whatnot later on, but trust me, it's important. I mean, light eco has been mentioned, saying that uh, Jack once had light eco in him. And that is true, because he absorbed it, obviously, um, in uh, in Jack 1 against Golem Maya, and also the kid with light eco was able to open the precursor stone and unlock the precursor within it. And of course, um, Jack now lost his power because he was um, touched by darkness because of the Baron. Um, I think at the end of Jack 2, he basically got his light power back, although he never used it. Um, although maybe he's like, never been able to use it. In this game, it will explore it more, which is great. Because it's awesome what you can do with it. I just thought I'd mention that and point that out, and I'm so going to lose. Unless I'm very careful. I'm somehow first. Don't ask me why. Or how. I think the end of the race is literally right here. It is indeed. Yes! So obsessed with death. Because of that, the day star approaches, and every day it grows brighter. This planet's final trial is coming. That thing! Oh, I've just seen a precursor. Yay! So yeah. That thing in the sky is going to destroy us. The Sun of Doom. The Day Star. It's going to destroy us. You can argue the Day Star is what the Sun is called. It's a star, and you see it in the day. You know? That's why I call it the Day Star. Slash the Sun. You know? He did say Daystar, didn't he? <laughs> just sort of blacked out. Just, like, just questioning myself. He did say Daystar, didn't he? Pretty sure he did, yeah. He did pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Yeah. Hope so. You guys looking for a bit of action? The scope shows a group of metalheads moving through the dizzy. Yes! Far from here. I don't like metalheads almost as much as I don't like you. And you've got some proving to do. Intercept those bad boys. In See, wearing a diaper. Who knows? You might even get a few toys for your effort. Why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts? Jack, I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. I don't have these whiskers for nothing, you know. Relax. We could handle a few metalheads. Have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Go get them, heroes. <laughs> I'm gonna take off his diaper. Oh yeah, by the way, we get a sand shark now. 
This for the point that I There we go. Okay. This is one of my favourite missions in the game. The reason for this is its unpredictability and its amazingness. If I wanted to, I really could just literally go on this mission getting kicked about by these metalheads. Yeah. Yawning. Seriously, it's the funnest thing in the world. Proving now. Okay, maybe not. He was supposed to kick me. That didn't happen, obviously. But yeah, when he kicks you, you just fly and anything can happen and it's so much fun. I don't know why it is, it just is. Like so! Okay, granted, it does damage to your vehicle. But my god, it's so fun! I love this mission. Yeah, as you can see, metalheads are more powerful. Only the strongest survived. So prepare to see a lot of metalheads. A lot of very powerful metalheads. Not that that's a bad thing, that makes this game awesome! They can, if you're unlucky, just squish you completely. I've seen it happen before. Whoa! Stuff like that is what makes this game awesome. Yeah, uh, I've seen you, they, them squish me before. They can do that just by stomping on you, but it doesn't happen often. Not often enough to notice anyway, or to care much. I mean, this mission. Oh god, I didn't even so high narrowly escape that. Didn't even see him coming. Yeah, the um. This mission's quite short, but it is incredibly fun. Whoops. If you do die, you don't have to start from the beginning, you only have to kill however many you had left, so it's not a big problem. I remember um, in one of the playthroughs, it kicked me, and in midair, and, and um, it died um, in midair, and I was looking at how it happened, and I, I seriously, because I was recording at that point, I don't have the footage anymore, but I was trying to work out how it died, because even though I was slung into midair, my bullets didn't kill it or hit it when I was spinning around, it never hit it. What I noticed was it its bomb, one of its bombs hit a rock nearby and the blast from the rock right next to it caused it to lose its final bit of health. That is insane, that really is. I'd love for it to happen again. It won't though. It just won't. Whee! Dear God, I love this mission. Sadly, this is the only mission where you do this. If I... I could easily save. Like, save and then keep loading each time I got to this mission if I wanted to. Because it doesn't take long to get to this mission, to be fair, it only takes about an hour maximum. By the way, he's not dead. Wait, at one point he'll feign death. Like so. Oh god! He ain't dead. Don't fall for it! You're dead now. No spoilers, please. Seriously, though, it's very easy to spoil. Very easy to spoil this. Do not spoil it. I didn't mean to do that. The beast beater. Just 
to the crown. Where's the crown anyway? Oh, I know what this is, I think. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Scratch that. I thought we were going to a different place. Never mind. I don't know what this is. Oh, well, maybe it's another arena challenge. It might be, actually. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, yeah, the marauders can't come in here. They can try as hard as they, as they, they might, but they, they won't ever get in here. I don't understand how the sand doesn't penetrate this section of the city. I really don't. I've never been able to understand that. I think I know what that is. I think I do. Yeah, it's right up here. I win. Future. To give us hope for the future. That's good, yeah. May as well get this one as well. Any precursor orb is a good precursor orb. Heroes must have quick feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. I know what it is. I remember this took me ages to figure it out the first time. I don't know why. It just did. Because it's very obvious. It's right over here. That's right. I thought it was like way over there or behind this thing, behind this giant building. And it took me ages to realize it was directly in front. And the reason I thought that is because I think it was my intelligence at the time. It wasn't bad in in the sense that it gave you 24 seconds when it really only needs 10. And my brain just worked out it's like you it must be far away because you need you need so much time. It never occurred to me, but they would just give you time to feign that idea. My my intelligence was overthinking everything. As my brain was thinking, oh no, it can't be that because it's too far away, and it can't be this because that's there, and this is that, and this is that, and this and that, and that, and, and that is this, and this is that, and that, and that, and that. And that. Yeah, that. <laughs> I want to say this is a ring challenge, but I'm probably wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, I know where this is. It's in between one of the buildings. Yep, there it is, next to a ladder. Thought so. Called it. It should be in here. If it's not, something is wrong. There we go. Success! Thank you. Oh, high and mighty. Seriously, that doesn't sound like the right sound effect. <laughs> it just doesn't. I don't even know if that was the sound effect in the original. But it really doesn't sound right. I think I've worked out what the mission is after this. I think I have. I'm not looking forward to it. in the arena. Face down your fears, defeat those who oppose you, and we will see if your skills are of use to us. The purity of the arena is our only guide. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sand King? Yes, I'd like to place a complaint. We've been training hard. My feet are killing me, and I think I'm getting a hangnail. So maybe I'll just sit this one out. Enough talk. The arena awaits. Mm. 
That's right, you get weapon upgrades. You get three of each type of weapon. The weapons are the same as the last one, so you get this, the blaster, the Vulcan Fury, and the Peacemaker. But, you'll get some sweet weapon upgrades. Not gonna spoil what they are, because they will surprise you, I guarantee. I guarantee you won't be expecting them. I'm so positive of this fact. For now though, I think I'll just use this, since I prefer it. I'm sure there's another orb. And there it is. I knew there was another one. I knew there was more than one. There might even be three, actually. I think, yeah, there's the one behind his phone, I think. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's one behind his phone, unless there's one behind here as well. Which there could be. Which there isn't. Okay, then fine. I'm just checking. You know. Checking is a good thing. Looking around is fun. Searching is good. I'm sure there is three up here. I know there's definitely one behind his throne. I remember. There might even be a fourth, if we're lucky. Ammo! Ammo! Whoa, ammo! Called it! I'll talk to him in a second. I don't think I've ever talked to him. So I'll see what he has to say. The Orbiter of Faith! Oh, there's four! Haha! Haha, -ha, game! Haha! -ha. May as well see what that is. Fifty? Really? Have we got fifty already? Wow. Whoops. There we go. I'll see if there's any more around here. I downed it though. Yeah, there ain't. Okay. What happens if you talk? Oh, I didn't know you could uh, see the cutscene again. Interesting. So if you want to, you can see the cutscene in glorious slow motion and fast motion and stuff if you wish if that is what you wish good sir if that is what you wish I have a weapon 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 I have it's great Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what the mission after this is. Not gonna lie, not looking forward to it. Because it is very tricky, if I remember correctly. Chat invitation. I hate chat invitations. I got invited to a chat invitation by someone. I can't remember who it was. And its subtitle was No Bronies. Do you know who you're talking to? I am one of the biggest bronies out there. I love the pony community so much you clearly are not trying to chat with the right person here you may be a fan and all but seriously no if you're gonna say no ponies or ponies blah 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 get out just go away and dark bomb a go go yeah that became a thing <laughs> we have that from the get go Hi, join please. Hi, I'm uh, Let's Playing, so go away. The ultimate weapon of doom is back. See, still amazing in every single way. Away I go. Boom! Boom again! Find a tactical spot and then explode. Who's last? 
Goodbye. Wasn't that fun? I think I succeeded. I'm gonna get some ammo because I seem to be running out. Good. Good. If I'm correct, the next weapon we get is amazing. It isn't much of an upgrade on the blaster, but it's the best one you get. I can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. <laughs> I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> It's good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you, Birdie, right here. Twirler. That's it. It's go time. Bring it on, bird brain. Enough. If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet, and a new weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. I love Demos, he's the best character. Did you just see what that did? It also gave us more ammo. But did you just see what that did? I'm not gonna lie, the third upgrade is shit in every way, <laughs> but I couldn't care less because what we just got there is amazing. Damage upgrade, ooh, rate of fire, that makes it easier to, um, it makes it faster to charge up, I believe. Basically, if you want to get all the, um, orbs within the, uh, the, uh, gun courses in Haven, those weapon upgrades are what you need. But, oh yeah, the the second blaster upgrade, seriously. It may not be much of an upgrade in comparison, like, it doesn't make any radical changes to the weapon. In the sense that this one changes completely. You know what I mean? It's like, it's normal, and then, boom. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, um... People, uh, my friend Andrew's game display, you might want to know um, how to get rid of your weapon. You hold it down. Because in this one, if you keep pressing down, it will just go to the next weapon. Hold um, whatever one it is down. Hold any, bu hold any directional button down and it will go away. It took me a while to figure that out. I'm not going to lie. I was just, when I, because I wanted to do, um, when I was originally playing it, I was just like, what the hell? This won't go away, but yeah, you hold it down, and I've never forgotten since, because it's insane! But yeah, so uh, as you can tell, my uh, my favourite weapon is clearly the blaster, because that upgrade alone just makes it awesome in every way. Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way! Jack's not afraid of you! Are you Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just offering Jack and the little one here some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> well, you can probably hear that my mother is hoovering. So I think now's a good time to end, because... It's going to become very annoying very quickly, I imagine. So yeah, if you can't hear, then oh, well, that's great. But I need to stop anyway because I've recorded for an hour and forty minutes or so, and you know I've got family coming around in about an hour. So 
Better get freshened up and stuff and things and yeah, all that jazz. So, I will see you next time.